Scotia Bank, in partnership with BT, is proud to present Operation Support Local, shining the light on local businesses during this difficult time. Welcome back. It's Friday. It's Operation Support Local brought to us by Scotiabank. And it's Friday. We're doing a bit of a twist today. We're going to bring in one of our good friends from BT, uh, a loyal viewer and a fan of the show for many years. Suzanne Gravel joins us right now. Suzanne, we've enlisted you to become our BT Local Business Ambassador. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Thor. It's a real pleasure. Yeah. Now, you're a grade three teacher normally in Abbotsford, but you're not working right now with the kids. You must miss your class. I miss them a lot, but I'm going to go do a teacher parade later on today, so I'll get to see them. Oh, awesome. Make sure you send us some pics. Uh, you and I have been talking on Twitter for um, a couple of years now, and you've been mm -hmm. really helping us compile a list of local businesses that deserve to have a shout out. So you're going to take us through a few of them today, and we hope to do this on the regular. Uh, why don't you tell us about an eatery that is right in your neck of the woods in Abbotsford? It's Francisco's. Yes, Francisco's is a bit of a hidden gem. It's tucked away in, a, in an industrial section. Um, Chef Lydia makes awesome homestyle food for mm. really good prices. They have daily specials for about $8, and you can get a breakfast sandwich for around $4. Generous portions. They also do catering, which is obviously on hold right now, so they could really use mm -hmm. a shout-out. Takeout only at the moment. Very clean, awesome little place. Oh, I'm liking that tostado salad. I love that the prices remain cheap as well, and I love these kind of homestyle cooking places. You drive by them, you might be like, "Oh, I'm not going in there," but uh, the, you know, the, like, don't judge a book by its cover with a lot of uh, local yeah. eateries, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're seeking out. Yeah, a lot of character there. Okay, and the other one we're going to talk about is in West Richmond. This is a hop, skip, and a jump away from where I live. And Seafair Gourmet Meats, it's funny because it's owned by uh, Melinda Newman, and the Newmans are great friends of the Die Cows. We go back many, many years with them, but tell our viewers about Seafair Meats. So cool. So this place was recommended to me by some friends who are uh, living in Richmond right now. They're huge foodies. And so, of course, they found it right away. And they uh, tell me that the Seafair Meats has the best dry-aged steaks they've tried ever. They literally melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's a family-run place since 1983. And they've got some awesome COVID measures in place right now to make sure their customers stay safe. Uh, they only allow three people in at a time, and they've got stickers down and everything. They bring in other items like eggs and artisanal cheeses and ethical, locally uh, produced, sustainable items. So I can't wait to give them a try. Oh, yeah, they're great. The marinades are amazing, all kinds of great cuts of meat. And the staff in there are so friendly. They also have a second location as well, Newman's Fine Foods in Tawasin Springs. There's a lot of deli items and a lot of other foods. So uh, get out there and support them. Suzanne, thank you so much uh, for spreading the word about these local businesses. We'll get this online, and we hope to talk to you soon here on BT. Thank you. Such a pleasure to help these places. Thanks for what you're doing. Okay, and good luck with your teacher parade later. Thanks a lot, Thor. See you later. All right, see ya. That's Suzanne Gravel. She is our BT Local Business Ambassador, and we'll hear from her again soon. Let's get you